good morning children now fozia ma'am had already taken ppt class for fractions children but uh, today i'll give i'll i'll take brief introductory class again of fractions okay now what is a fraction children now this is a whole okay and if i will divide the whole into two equal parts it is a fraction of a whole and if a thing is divided into two equal parts each part is called half this is one half this is one half same thing if you will divide it into four equal parts then each part is called quarter part okay so this is whole this is half and these are quarter pieces okay so a fraction means a part of a group or of a whole okay now 3 by 11 is a fraction that is three parts we are selecting out of 11 parts we read it as 3 11th or we can say 3 by 11 okay here 3 is called the numerator whichever number is up is called numerator and 11 is called denominator you already know this okay then now types of fractions first one is proper fraction what is a proper fraction now a proper fraction is less than 1 now for example this is a whole and i am dividing it into four equal parts and i am taking one out of four so proper fraction are always less than 1 okay 1 by 4 is a proper fraction okay and are parts of a whole it is a part of a whole if this is 1 and if i am dividing it into three equal parts and if i am taking one out of three this will be one out of three it is a part of whole so it is a proper fraction and you have to remember this that in proper fraction always numerator is less than denominator okay children now next what is a improper fraction now improper fractions are more than one now suppose if is if this is one this is one if i am taking this whole and half of this one and half so this is more than one one plus half is nothing but 3 by 2 one plus half is 3 by 2 2 so improper fractions are more than 1 and in improper fraction note it down that numerator is more than denominator so so for example for this proper fraction you can take it as 2 by 11 and 5 by 9 and for improper fraction we can take it as 11 by 7 9 by 2 and so on okay so proper fraction numerator is small improper fraction numerator is more okay next one more type of fraction is there called mixed fraction children an improper fraction can be written as combination of whole and a part and such fractions are called mixed fraction now there are three parts and one more half part is there so this type of fractions is called mixed fraction okay we have a whole number this is a whole number and a fraction then it is called a mixed fraction when you are writing mixed fraction whole number part should be written bigger and a fraction part should be written smaller this is 6 2 by 3 so you have revised i have revised uh, what are proper fraction improper fraction mixed fraction okay now out of these which are proper fractional numbers we know that in proper fraction numbers numerator is small here numerator is small no so out of these which are proper fractional number is it a proper fraction not proper fraction okay 2 by 3 is it a proper fraction yes 2 is greater than 3 so it is a proper fraction 
1 by 7. It is a proper fraction. Why it is a proper fraction? Because the numerator is less than the denominator. You can try this. Okay. Now second one is which of these are improper fractional numbers? Now we know that in improper fractional numbers numerator is more. So 2 by 7 it is not uh, improper. It is proper fraction number. Which of these are improper fractional number? This is not a improper fraction. Next is 7 by 11. 7 is smaller. So again it is not a improper fraction. Next 9 by 11. Again it is not a improper fraction. Next 13 by 2. Numerator is more than denominator. So it is improper fraction. You can try out the last one okay next is pick out the mixed fraction from these you already know what are mixed fractions mixed fractions have a whole number part and a fraction part so pick out the mixed fraction from this is it a mixed fraction not a mixed fraction is this a mixed fraction? Yes, it is a mixed fraction. Why it is a mixed fraction? Because it is having a whole number part and a fraction. What about this? Is it a mixed fraction? Not a mixed fraction. Not a mixed fraction. This is a mixed fraction? Yes, it is a mixed fraction. Okay, this all for today. Uh, complete all this. Uh, in your CW ones, okay, all the definitions and question number one, two, three. Tomorrow we'll do the fourth one. Thank you.